Hi, I'm Ed Roth, owner of Stencil One, a stencil design company in Brooklyn, New York. I've been a stencil designer for over 10 years and I'm always inspired to try new and different things. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own unique, one-of-a-kind piece of art using some tape, paint, and your imagination. Why spend a lot of money on decor when you can easily create it yourself and have a blast doing it? It's a fun and easy project and I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. So grab your brush and let's get started. Hi, I'm Ed Roth of Stencil One and I'm here in New York City. I'm a stencil designer. I've been designing stencils for 10 years, so I'm all about customization and DIY. And I'm super excited to show you this project today where I'm using tape to create some custom artwork for your home. So let's get started. This project is so easy to do. I'm gonna show you exactly what you need and step by step how just to create it. So you'll need a foam dense roller and tray and alternatively you can use paint brushes. You'll need some varying widths of painter's tape, some paint brushes that are smaller for touch up. You'll need some acrylic paint and I have a paint stirrer here. So I chose a really bright school bus yellow and some turquoise, I think they'll look great together as well as the command strips to hang your artwork. And these are the art panel boards you'll need, which you can get at any art supply store or craft store. I'm gonna be using four of these boards for the project. And finally, you need butcher's paper to protect your surface. So let's get started. The way you start is you have to paint your boards one solid color. And I chose this bright school bus yellow, I think it'll just make an apartment pop. So uh, what you need to do is get your paint. Acrylic paints are pretty thick, so this will cover really, really well. You can use house paint, you can use many different types of paint to cover these artist boards. So I'm just gonna get some paint into my tray first. And you'll see it's thicker than your typical home latex paint. So this will allow us to move pretty fast. Um, so you put out your first board and you have the butcher block down to protect your table and I'm just going to get a real even coat on the paint here, on my roller I should say. And I'm using a foam dense roller and a small tray. Um, again, this will give me good coverage and a lot of control with a small wood panel. So you just cover your board any which way to get it covered. You'll see it'll slowly flatten out. And I like to do two coats of paint on the boards. You can give it a washed look. You could sand it down a little. You can choose the color you like that complements your apartment, your favorite color. Uh, this is a completely customizable project, so it's really up to you. And you just I like to paint the sides, that's up to you, of the panels. And how do we do that? Well, you just hold it on its side and just roll it on. It covers so quick with this roller. You know, alternatively, you can use brushes, but I'm an impatient person, so this works for me. And you just hold it in place. You're saying, well, what about the fourth side? Well, I'll show you. And I just like to hold it on its triangle like this and paint the fourth. And you could let that dry and then you could give it a second coat in five to 10 minutes. You could smooth it out if it looked a little bubbly. Then you just smooth it out a little more and then you're on to your next panel. And you can let the paint dry about five minutes between each coat.
All right, now all our paint is dry on our boards. We let it dry for a few hours, so our next step is taping, and you had to let this get really dry so that we're not pulling the paint off with the tape. So what we're gonna go for here is we're gonna create some geometric taped shapes onto the boards so that you have this one-of-a-kind geometric art in your home, and then we're gonna paint into the somewhat tape stenciled area with uh, the turquoise color. And so let's begin. I'm going to take the first board and start taping a geometric linear shape. I've seen art like this in stores, uh, decorative home stores for the panels were over $100 each and you can create this really affordably. So I'm going to start by taping just what I'm feeling, like a sort of angular, you know, geometrics are really popular right now in home decor and there's no reason you can't do this at home yourself. So I taped, and at the corners you just fold it. I'm gonna paint right over the edges so you can kinda create, uh, create the design going, bleeding right over the edges. And what's fun with this is we have these different widths of tape, like one inch, quarter inch, maybe half inch. So you can create um, different shapes and give it a little more eye-catching look with these widths. So I'm just making it up. And I'm not going to do all four the same. I'm going to do similar. So they'll all relate. and. It's up to you how you tape it. So, I got interested in stenciling and design and home decor years ago because I used to do stencil graffiti and cut out my own stencils and I'd make a lot of like t-shirts with those and statements, artwork. And then I thought, well, why don't I make this a business since I love doing it so much. So here's what I'm going for. Um, I'm going to continue on making a little more with the thinnest tape now, making some more shapes. Um, maybe go along here. It's nice to space things out evenly. So I have this square section here, and I'm going to kind of divide it into thirds. So it's really up to you. So press down your tape really firmly so when our next step of painting over this, that our turquoise paint doesn't bleed underneath the tape. And you'll get a nice crisp line on your artwork. So I just continue on. It's sort of therapeutic because you're just making up a design with tape. It's really up to you how this is going to end up. I'm liking this one. So. Again, press down your tape, nice and firm. And this one's done. I'm going to do similar designs on each board. How do I come up with this design? Um, and how are you going to choose what you do? Well, one thing I do is I look at like things that are trending right now. You look at Pinterest, and you look at home decor magazines. And geometric is all over home decor right now. You see um, it in planters, lighting. You see it on clothing. Um, so that's inspiring. You can look at that and come up with some designs that you want to create. Uh, to bring geometric design into your home. So that's what inspired me for this project is just how can I bring a little pop art and geometric design into my home decor. So um, that's what I'm going for with this project. And um, you might fully like perfect squares. So you can tape this very 
uh, to your liking. That's what I like about this project too. You could tear the tape, you could do, you know, once you get going on this, I bet you're gonna wanna do a lot more boards. I'm doing four today and I'm gonna hang them in a grouping, but you can do a wall of 20 of them and you can have friends jump in on it. So I'm gonna continue taping the rest of my boards and then we'll start painting. Now I have all my panels taped and check it out, they are like a family. They look similar but not the same and I am gonna put in all these untaped areas the turquoise paint. So we have the yellow turquoise combination which I think will look really hot. And what I love about this project is you can choose the colors you want. It's very customizable. Um, I'm gonna start by getting this acrylic paint into my tray again. Again, acrylic paint is so thick, but thick paint's great for stenciling because you, you don't want your paint to seep under the tape, right? So that's a good point to make right now. Let's make sure our tape is really set down so that the paint isn't going under the tape, right? And now I'm gonna fill in the area with the turquoise paint. So you wanna get the paint all over the roller. It just takes a minute to get it even, right? Okay, looks a little thick, but here we go. And you're just rolling right over the tape. You're covering the whole board, so then when you peel away the tape, you're gonna have that contrasting yellow show through again. And you can paint all four boards now, sides included, since we made the tape roll around the edges. This should take two coats as well. Now I'm using a two color design, turquoise and yellow, but you can use multiple colors and you can paint into your areas the different colors that you choose. I don't recommend trying to get into those spaces with a roller, but you can use a medium sized brush and brush in those shapes. So you can go crazy with how you're gonna customize your boards. Um, three colors, four colors. So I'm moving on to my next board. And again, this is gonna take two coats of paint. So I would let each board dry at least five minutes in between each board. I'm using acrylic paint here, which is nice and thick, but at your art supply or craft store or home supply store, you can use a variety of paints, anything that will paint on wood. So you can use latex home paint, you can use uh, craft paint from the craft store. Um, I especially like the acrylics because of the thickness of this paint. So as a stencil artist, I am constantly doing customization projects and uh, you name it, I've stenciled it. I've tried to stencil shoes, t-shirts. You know, it's not just up to walls what you can customize with projects like this or with uh, stencils. I've stenciled leather boots, tote bags, uh, clothing, furniture. I've even stenciled uh, a toilet. Uh, so I'm on my fourth board now, and then I'll go back and do everything one more coat, and I'll do the sides of the boards. But I got into stenciling years ago when I was a teenager. I'd buy uh, junky old furniture at thrift stores, and I'd want to put a design on them, and uh, I'd cut out a stencil, and I'd repeat it on the furniture, and then I got really into t-shirt designs and stencil graffiti. So I kind of stencil all across the gamut, like home decor wise, but also art and street art and any, anything you could stencil in any um, realm, really. I like artwork, but I also like 
home decor, so I kind of combine them. So now I'm doing the sides and see how the tape goes along the edges and creates more of the design wrapping around your boards. Well, we want to make sure to paint these in so that we see that design. So we're going to do the same thing with all four boards. We're going to paint all the sides and then we'll do a second coat. Now that your paint is semi-dried, it's time to peel the tape away. And that's what I'm going to do with this board. And I've already done with these three. And you could see the geometric designs we created, which looks amazing. And now we'll do this final one. And I'll show you. It's really easy. You just peel away your tape. And you have your design. I recommend peeling this when the paint is a little wet still because you don't want the tape to attach to the paint and peel the paint away with your tape. It'll just become really messy if you let it sit there too long. So we got a really clean line going on here. And this is the best time to peel away the tape. Now, I'm going to show you one other. Look at that. It looks great, right? So I pulled all the tape away. And if you have any imperfections, such as there's this little dot here of paint that's bothering me, you can just use the paint you used and get a very little bit on the brush and go in and touch up your imperfections like so. That's it. Now these are ready to be hung. So your final step is to hang your artwork. And these command strips are great because they won't put any holes in your wall. So they're really easy to use. You just fold two Velcro areas together and make that snap together. Rip off that. And you can peel one side away right like that. Flip over your artwork once it's dry, and position this. You can use two strips or possibly four. These are very strong. It's not going to go anywhere. And then we're going to hang it in a quadrant on the wall. Now once you're ready to hang this, you just peel these strips off the back like this. And then you're ready to stick it right to the wall. I like to hang things a little lower than my eye level, because I'm six feet tall. Got one. Peel away your strips. Now, you hold it on the wall for a minute. Just press it real good to make sure it sticks in place. What's great about the geometric design is you can flip it any way that suits you, suits your eye. Peel some more. You can line these up in a line. You can put them the way I'm going to do them in a, what I call a quadrant. Uh, it's really up to you. You can use a level. I like to eyeball things. It starts to become one piece of artwork, which I think looks really good in your house. This one I peeled already. I mean, how amazing is that? I've shopped around and I've seen artwork for over $100 a panel like this in uh, home decor stores. So you can do it very affordably. You can use your own colors. And I love how I hung this, but I have the perfect place that I really want to put this artwork. I can't wait to see what you make with this project.